Just then, Naruto suddenly received some unexpected news. Gara, who once competed ruthlessly at the Chunin exam and now served as the Kazakage, had been abducted by a member of the Akatsuki. The Akatsuki had a plan to extract the tailed beasts from the Jinchuriki, such as Naruto and Gara, to use them for their own nefarious purposes. <coughs> to rescue Gara. Naruto and his friends attacked an Akatsuki hideout. There, Naruto found Deidara, who had abducted Gara, along with Gara's lifeless body, which had had Shikaku ripped from it. Naruto chased after Deidara, and they engaged in battle in the forest. Understanding the agony Gara must have endured, Naruto erupted in a violent rage against the barbaric Akatsuki. Give me back Gara! <laughs> Bring it if you can. You. I can never forgive you! Jinchuriki as beloved as he is. You can one of your own kind, can you? You feel connected to this pathetic girl. I'm gonna mess you up bad! <laughs> Bring it if you can. <laughs> Not too bad. I'm gonna win! You all bark and no bite. Take it from here. Take it from here. With the help of friends, he drove Deidara off and recovered Gara's body. There was no one, however, who could bring him back from death. Why Gara? Why is it always him? Calm down, Naruto Uzumaki. Shut up! If you say a ninja hadn't put that monster in Gara, none of this would have happened! Did you ever consider what Gara thought? Did you ever even ask? You call him a Jinchuriki? Who are you to decide that fate for someone else? Naruto wailed in grief. Moved by this display, Granny Chio, a prominent figure in the Hidden Sand, 
gave her own life to bring Gara back from the dead. She did this because of her faith in the ability of the young to change the future. Naruto. Lady Chio entrusted the future to you and Gara. It was a death befitting a ninja. Yeah, same as the old man, the third Hokage. Recalling that the third Hokage had held the same sentiments, Naruto resolved to carry that hope forward. With the information regarding Orochimaru that he had obtained during his fight with the Akatsuki, he set out for their hideout with his friends and Sai, a new member of Team Kakashi. There, Naruto was met by Sasuke, who had developed at an alarming rate under Orochimaru's training. For the first time since their clash in the final valley, the former team... Sasuke, I found you! I'm sick of you showing up all the time. Now I'll just cut you off completely. I'm taking you home. No matter what! 
You won't be able to put a scratch on it. you share with Naruto and his friends. I want to see it for myself. Connection. As slow as ever, I see. is one of hatred towards my brother. My connection with you is still unbroken! It's uh, giant rush And if it's ever about to be cut off... Uh, I'll keep pulling it back and tie it together again! me off. Can't you understand? Sasuke! <laughs> what happened to you? I have my own path to follow. Stay out of my way. Orochimaru wants you as his special. As long as I achieve the goal, that's enough. I'll protect our family no matter what it takes! Giant oh, yeah. Then all I have to do is cut it off. Enough talk. You're still a child.
Wait, Sasuke! Sasuke! Without so much as a nod in Naruto and Sakura's direction, Sasuke left with Orochimaru. Sasuke! I couldn't stop him again. I... I'm weak. So that's the extent of your bond. No, it isn't. In that case, everything's fine. You can still bring Sasuke back. Sai. Thanks. For real. Lamenting his inability to stop them, Naruto vowed to become stronger. With painful memories of his failure at Orochimaru's hideout, he decided to train under Kakashi. At that same time, the Akatsuki's movements intensified, targeting Jinchuriki in various lands. Receiving reports that Akatsuki members had invaded the Land of Fire, the Hidden Leaf dispatched a strike team to stop their rampage. However, the team struggled in its fight against the all-but-immortal member of the Akatsuki, known as Kakazu. <laughs> Having just completed training, Naruto rushed to their aid. Naruto Uzumaki. I didn't think you'd come for me. <laughs> you saved me some time. I'll get you! I think you're underestimating me. But now I can easily catch you. So I'll take you out with my jutsu! No matter how powerful your jutsu, it can't beat my experience. <laughs> Kill 
Well, Russet, hit it! And so, Naruto bested a mighty foe who had once been considered unbeatable. Seeing this, Kakashi could see that the youth were ushering in the winds of change. Naruto has become strong, truly strong. He's practically surpassed me. Can you sense it? You're always in his mind, inspiring him. You make him strong. You do know that. Don't you, Sasuke? While Naruto's victory over Kakazu demonstrated his tremendous growth, major changes were also taking place in the Orochimaru faction. Sasuke had rebelled against his master. Orochimaru. And now Sasuke had no use for him. Seeking to usurp Orochimaru's power for his own, Sasuke sought to assassinate him. I knew this time would come, Sasuke. There's nothing more you can teach me. I'm...
It ends here. Orochimaru, I'm strong. I guess the fledgling is all you can get your hands on. It didn't work with Itachi. Is that why you came after me? You still couldn't do it in the end. You couldn't equal the Uchiha, let alone overcome them. No matter how much of a genius you are. You're just a normal man before the Uchiha. You can't win, Orochima. It's impossible for you to take my body. <laughs> you may be the first person to make such a fool of me. to mediocrity before a new Chiha. A snake that crawled on the earth dreamt of soaring through the sky, knowing full well it was impossible. Still, in vain, it nurtured a baby bird in its own nest, failing to realize that the bird had become a hawk and the snake was now its prey. This can't... This can't be happening! I am Orochimaru. I am immortal. I will not die here. I, I am the one who will unlock the mysteries of nature. I am the one who will receive everything. I am. I will take your power. Defeated by Sasuke's visual prowess, Orochimaru was overthrown. After biding his time for so long, Sasuke could finally begin his quest for vengeance.
Gathering a small... However, Akatsuki member Deidara launched a surprise attack while Sasuke was operating alone and separated from his allies. Deidara had intended to kill the treacherous Orochimaru, and so he resented Sasuke for beating him to the punch. Sasuke endured a great barrage from Deidara's artistic ninjutsu, which defeated Gara in the past. You're going to tell me about Itachi. If you can beat me, I'll tell you anything. Sure. You took down a rich enough. I'm going to get stop. Quit acting so smug. Five stars. Check out that glare. I'm this ready guy's to go. Worth picking apart. Hmm. Oh, ah. We'll have to apologize to Itachi later. Right here. You're not going anywhere. Is that how little you fear me? But Deidara was enraged when Sasuke demanded information concerning Itachi, because he felt his art was being disrespected. <laughs> Deidara had once sensed something artistic in Itachi, and for that reason, he became obsessed with Sasuke. I'll show you my biggest, ultimate, maximum explosion. Is he going to... Struggling is useless. You can't run from an explosion. You're doomed to disintegrate here. Now are you afraid? Cower in awe, recoil in despair, cry your heart out. Because my art is an explosion! Shaken by anger and humiliation, he detonated himself to achieve the ultimate art form with the aim of killing Sasuke simultaneously. Sasuke, however, employed a transportation technique an instant before the blast and managed to escape the explosion. Once and for all, Daedra's art failed to impact the Uchiha. <laughs> 